Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for an introduction to NX Launcher, new with the June 2019 release of NX 1872. Uh, my name is Jonathan Hill. I am an engineer here with ATA Engineering, um, and we're all known both for our um, robust engineering services, where we tend to focus on analysis and test-driven design, as well as for our role as a Siemens partner and reseller of uh, great software products such as NX, EMAP, SimCenter, Navstran, Story CC and Plus and more. Uh, so let's continue with an introduction to NX Launcher. And I'd like to start off um, just kind of by sharing that new NX installations are mapped to the same start shortcut folder. So um, in this age of continuous release, um, where we aren't really referring to new versions of NX by their version number anymore, um, we just get a single Siemens NX folder inside our start value. Um, previously, we might have had NX10, NX11, NX12. Now we just have Siemens NX. And um, the problem arises here because um, the shortcut inside our Siemens NX folder, whether we're talking about the NX shortcut or the SimCenter 3D shortcut, um, is going to correspond to the most recent version that we've installed, not necessarily the most recent release. Um, so, you know, originally back in January of 2019, I installed NX1847. So that's what my shortcut pointed to at that time. Um, this summer I updated to 1872, um, and now my link points to that. If I reinstalled 1847, then the link would point back to that. Um, so it gets tricky to know which version we're opening, um, especially if we want to have multiple versions installed on our computer, which I do. Um, and so Siemens has introduced a new tool to help us with that called Siemens NX Launcher. This is going to allow us to specify between versions, applications, and even environments. So I can come down to my environment and I can choose, in this case, um, I've, I've specified that I want to be able to choose between 1872, 1847, and NX12. And then for each of those, I can choose my application to launch. So I can choose between NX, SimCenter 3D, um, or NX Viewer. And in addition to this, I could um, use the Siemens NX Launcher to select specific dialog box memories and user profiles and even customer defaults. So I could have multiple 1872 environments set up if I wanted, depending on the different customers that I might be working for. Now, this NX launcher is available from the NX 1872 install media. Um, so when you, when you download that from GTAC probably and unzip it and you start the launcher, um, you'll see that right underneath our install NX button, we'll have an in install NX launcher button. And then the specific environments and everything that are available once you launch NX Launcher are specified by a XML file. Um, the default location of that I've put on the screen here. So um, it's the C drive and then program data, Siemens, um, and then that's where your XML file will be. Um, and there's a sample environment definition file um, that is included when you install the NX Launcher. Uh, but I put a screenshot of what mine is, um, and it's very easy. I think it's actually easier to uh, to just set everything up um, directly from this XML file instead of trying to do it from the GUI itself. So um, I have my three versions here at the top in yellow. Um, so I have NX 1872, NX 1847, and NX 12. And for each of these, I've basically just named what I want it to be called, and then I have put the location to the path. Um, and then I have my list of applications. So in this case, I've chosen to, to have NX SimCenter 3D and NX Viewer as my applications. Although there are certainly other applications that I could also choose from, um, which I've put over here in the bottom right. And so additional documentation is available in the NX help directory. So once you launch NX, if you hit F1, you can go to the help directory and you can find a few different pages um, explaining how things work there. And in addition to that, there's a PDF um, with additional documentation in the NX launcher install directory. So with that, uh, let's just take a look at um, what it looks like. So like I mentioned, and this is going to open up on my other computer. Uh, but here's my Siemens NX launcher. Um, you'll see that I could come in and I could start creating my new ones in here. Again, I think it's easier just to work directly with the XML file. Uh, but I can choose between my different environments, and then I can choose which specific application I want to launch. So let's say I want to do um, NX 1872 SimCenter 3D. So this is actually going to be SimCenter 3D 2019.2. And then when I hit OK, now my computer is starting to launch SimCenter 3D, and it's going to open up on my other computer, or on my other monitor. It will come up in just a second.
All right, so here we go. So now this is Incinera 3D 2019.2. Just a friendly reminder with these, um, these continuous release versions where we might not always know which version we're opening, it's really easy to check that if we come up to um, File, Help, and then About, uh, either Simcenter 3D or NX. And we'll see up here, um, so my release name is um, 2019.2. Um, this is actually version 1880, so I've um, updated from the, the June release of 1872. Um, but then it also lets you know that this is part of that 1872 release family. So um, that will wrap up everything that I had to share today. Uh, so uh, thank you for listening along and definitely reach out to us if there's anything that we can do to support you, um, whether that is for uh, services or software needs. Again, thanks and have a great afternoon.